All right. So, figured I'd go ahead and recap the uh, canola power plant here because it's basically finished. I went ahead and finished up the flooring. I tidied this up, this up here. Got it all as neat and tidy as I can make it. Everything's connected through with a router. And uh, this tripped me up for quite a while. I spent probably an hour trying to debug why I couldn't get oil to flow into my generators. Because I was trying to put it in from the bottom, it turns out. And they can't take oil from the bottom. So yeah. I wish I had realized that earlier. So basically this is the power buffer. It's being monitored by this to give it some hysteresis. So basically when this gets under half, the generators will kick on and they'll stay on until it's 99% full. So via the routing network, all of these other sub-networks get power. So this one's receiving the, RF, the global RF channel, or rather the routed RF channel. This one's getting the routed RF channel and it's sharing a routed fluid channel to take it over to here, which I still need to clean this up. This is just going to be a lot bigger of a mess to clean up. So this one's receiving power, a shared oil channel, and a shared empowered oil channel. The empowered oil channel makes its way over to here. So it's sharing a power channel and sharing an empowered oil channel which is then getting sent to all of these so this channel here pulls power out of the generators and gives it first to the controller then to the modular storage remote storage block whatever and then finally into the capacitor bank this channel here pulls power out of the capacitor bank and also puts it in the controller and the remote storage and then there's another network coming from the base pulling power out as well so that's how it gets to the base from here so it's pretty it all worked out pretty well it's pretty much i'm not using much power at the base right now so it's pretty much just idling it's already got quite a few quite a bit of a backlog of canola and seeds saved up but as soon as i need power this will kick on so if we go back to the base, so there's the XNet cable going all the way underground, all the way over to here. I've been doing some more remodeling on the base. So here's the new power room. It used to be on top of the old base, but I really didn't like it there. So here, this network is pulling power from the canola bank and from the water wheels and pumping it into the vibrant capacitor bank which I still need to make it a little bit bigger which is also giving power to the wireless RF system there then this uh, sensor here pretty much just controls when it pulls power from the canola so if at all possible it will just idle on the water wheels but when it needs more power it will kick on the can start pulling from the canola plant I also switched out the energy conduits over here for thermal dynamics flux ducts now that thermal dynamics is in. These will lag a lot less than the uh, energy conduits did. And all of these little things are, uh, I really want to try out the immersive engineering excavator. So I've been going around checking chunks for what's in it. This kind of looks like iron so it'll be interesting to see what comes out of there. This one's got a bunch of coal, which will be interesting. And I found one with gold somewhere. So pretty much this is for a future edition. Once I have more draconium, I can rig up an energy core. I want to kind of make it look cool there. So pretty much I need to do some more remodeling. I've been tearing down the old portion of the base here. I've also been experimenting with the uh, garden cloches from Immersive Engineering. You can really quickly grow a lot of potatoes with just one of them. 
or make some ender pearls very slowly. So, I need to finish. I need to move my old R my RS system out of there and into one of these buildings. And I kind of made a little tunnel for wiring. And as you can see, here's the wiring coming out of the bottom of the vibrant bank and heading over to heading through the tunnel to the power plant. As you can see, I've already started picking a bunch of stuff up from the base. So I was thinking, so if I've got power in that room, maybe I'll stick the uh, refined storage system in here. I'm thinking as far as moving power around within the base, I'll either do... I'm probably going to lean towards thermal dynamics ductwork, just because I really like the style of it. But I might end up going xnet if that becomes an issue. If lag becomes an issue, which it shouldn't because the, the thermal dynamic ducts are not ticking entities, they're just regular entities, so it should be fine. See, they don't, uh, they don't inherit from iTickable, so they're not ticking. They're just chilling there as static entities, which by contrast, I know, I found out that, uh, vanilla chess are ticking entities. So that's interesting. Even weirder, the little mini chess are not ticking entities. Go figure. That's just a little debug item there. I always cheat in for myself just because it helps debug problems and everything. It has no value other than debugging, so it's not like I feel bad cheating it in. So. First we're gonna need the controller. Might as well take this with us so that we can power it again. And we'll need the Yeah, I forgot that uh, that pops out of there. Oop, nope, need that. And we'll need at least the grid. At least the grid to get started. have a wall of drives here eventually. But for now, temporary setup just so I can get everything moved. I might as well take the door down just because it's not going to be there for much longer. Pattern grid. All right, all of its patterns. Just set up a quick set up thing over here so I can t finish tearing down the old base so I can get it all sealed back up. Did I accidentally put a pattern in here? I did. Oh, there you go. 
Come with me, little entities. Did I not pick up the importer for the thing, or did I never actually automate processors in here? Apparently I never automated processors in here. Figure out where I want to move my matter receiver to. You know what? Let's stick it in the middle here for kicks. So that would be here. <laughs> is it still linked? It is. Awesome. So if that's there, let's put in this room be our, uh, well, I'm just going to put all these machines down just to get them out of my inventory. I'll hook them up and reroute them and wire them later. Figure out exactly where I want to put them all later. Get my side table down, which I really need to upgrade my Psy gun again and get some new programs I came up with written into it. You know, now's a good time to go ahead and automate some things. First of all, I need some more crafters. I want to be able to teach it how to make crafters. I don't know why I didn't teach it how to do this stuff before, because it really needs it. It's two diamond processors. Whoops. temporary. I need to teach this thing how to make processors. Oh, I don't have a pattern encoder. Of course it doesn't have any of that. Alright. 
So processors. So we need the silicon. We need the basic. Yeah, the improved. The advanced. Yeah. And then from here, we need Oh, no, it's still over here. Me. All right. So then the basic, the improved, and the advanced. And over here, oh, yeah, I need to stick the importer on there real quick. Go ahead and make two of those. And we want a construction core. And a destruction core. All right, it doesn't know how to make machine casings yet. out of quartz iron. Well, it needs to know that later, but I just need some now. This is going to be probably a short episode because I don't have a lot of time today, but whoop. But at least I will have gotten the refined storage system up and upgraded with the ability to now make uh, more of itself. Come on. More of itself. There we go. So, I'm probably going to finish up the uh, remodeling and moving everything over between now and the next one. And maybe then I'll get started on trying to rig up one of these uh, immersive engineering excavators. There's nickel. I think over here there's something I saw. One of these had something neat in it. Oh, this one is Casserite. I don't exactly know what it's referring to, but... All right, well, let's see. So refined storage is set back up. Well, temporary setup. I want to organize this later and actually run some wiring, and I'll teach it to make crafting grids so I can have, say, a crafting grid in every room. The 
quantum core needs to be reattached to the system. It's disconnected right now. I've been having tons of problems with Flux Network, so I'm pretty much trying to get away from it now. Because it's just been getting buggier and buggier for me. And... Like I said, short episode this time, so... Until next time.